What's going on, everybody? It's Glenn from Linux News, and it's the Raw Review. Sorry I'm late with it, a day late. But you guys know what I do. Um, I try to give you guys my point of view of the show. Um, Raw was decent this week. Um, <clears throat> seen a great promo between Drew McIntyre and Sami Zayn in the beginning of the show. Um, Drew McIntyre is on the tear right now with his heel turn. He's taking every and everybody out that has something to do with his, you know, downfall not winning the um, Universal Championship, especially with Jay Uso. Um, and now with Sami Zayn, that he took Sami Zayn out or whatever. Um, we also had a great match between, <coughs> excuse me, main event Jay Uso and Seth Freakin' Rollins. Great promo from um, Cody Rhodes and Nakamura. Um, great stuff, man. Um, great. Um, long-term Brooklyn story towards the Royal Rumble because um, I believe, yeah, this month it's no pay-per-view, so they pretty much got to lay everything out on, you know, like Raw and SmackDown for the time being, you know, a uh, great match between D DIY and um, Imperium. Um, Imperium is looking like they about to split soon. It's looking like that more and more each week, but we want to split to see how that plays out. Nakamura and Cody, great promo, great stuff. Um, Cody got another role ahead of him and Nakamura. Um, but the thing with Nakamura is, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I just feel like he gonna end up you know, losing. I guess it's just, it's probably gonna be a way to make Cody Rose look strong towards Rumble, because I'm, I'm hearing that he might end up winning the Rumble again. So, um, you know, to head towards um, facing you know, the tribal chief Roman Reigns, but, you know, that's a different story, you know, because Punk is back or whatever, so it's a whole lot going on, and these are the results of the show, you guys, you know, you guys can pause it or whatever the case may be, the results from top to bottom at the commercial break, <laughs> but it, like I said, it was um a, a decent show, decent, um, Opening, decent closing. Like I said, Drew McIntyre, he's on a tear right now. He's he. I love the uh, hill turn from Drew McIntyre. You know, I like what they're doing with Drew McIntyre right now. Um, but um, yeah, Sami Zayn is is. I don't know if it's a kayfabe injury or whatever the case may be, but um, or just a way to write him off um, TV for a while because he got a little um, leg injury, you know, and then Drew. McIntyre attacked him backstage and made it worse, supposedly. So it could be like it's definitely a kayfabe injury to write um, send me off TV for a while. Um, possibly he, you know, just give him enough time to you know heal up and build this momentum back at the Royal Rumble. Um, Cause they ain't got much to, um, for Sammy or you know they I don't know this this maybe this is little vacation or whatever. To have Tom on TV because he has been there like every other week faithfully, you know, but pretty much doing the same thing or running into the same people. So I guess this is their way of just, you know, bringing him off TV for a bit, you know, until the rubble I'm hearing. So yeah, Drew McIntyre is on the tear, you know, and, you know, he, he 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 wants his opportunity for that um, WWE Championship from Seth Rollins, and if he got to take any way out to get to it, then that's what he's going to do, it seems like. But um, yeah, um, Rose, uh, like I said, he uh, attacked um, Drew, attacked Jay and um, Seth, and you know, and later in the match, um, that match was a clean finish. I thought he, I mean, I thought it was gonna be an inter uh, interference in the beginning of the match, but it was a clean finish with this whole Seth Rollins to Jay Uso thing, you know. But I, we all knew Seth was gonna win, you know. We didn't think. We all knew that Jay wasn't going to win that match. So that's why I'm like, I was a little confused on why they even had the match. Because now, I mean, I ain't going to say Jay lost his momentum from the match. But, it, you know, it's just why. Like, if y'all wasn't going to have him win it, you know. We already know that um, they trying to set up, for, you know, for Seth Rollins and CM Punk. You know, possibly for WrestleMania. But, I am mean, it could be earlier than that. Which I wouldn't agree with. I feel like they, that's a WrestleMania match in the making history. So, 
we'll see what happens when CM Punk returns to Monday Night Raw um, next week because um, Seth Rollins got one of it um, that he's going to return, you know. So, um, you know, Adam Pears made it clear that, yo, CM Punk is going to be here next week. Seth was like, I don't give a damn. <laughs> but another news, I'm hearing that, uh, and for those of you don't know, the legend, Kim Shamrock signed the legend deal. Um, those of you don't know Sham Kim Shamrock, oh man, he was the man, you know, he was, he's a tough cookie, man. He haven't been in the WWE in quite some years now. So that's really big news right there. Also, I might um, add, man. Uh, but you guys let me know what y'all um, think about the show, what y'all think about. If y'all know anything about this Ken Sherrock thing, what he's going to be doing, y'all let me know about that also. Cause that's some big news. Y'all look up into Ken Sherrock and, and, and know about that man. That man, he was tough as bricks, man. But and how y'all feel about CM Punk coming back next week? I think his promo next week won't be better than the last time he was there. You know, because the last promo was, you know, it was whatever. But I think next week's going to be a little different. You guys let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe.